This marks day five of the power crisis, leaving lots of families in a tough, tough spot. WRG's Andrew Allison joins us live from MLTW headquarters. And Andrew, how much progress have crews made? Yeah, tonight MLGW says roughly 90% of Shelby County should have power, but that means a lot of people are still having to ride it out on yet another cold, dark night. Frustration boiling over for thousands of Shelby County residents without power for a fifth straight day. It's hard. It's very hard to uh, try to cope and feed yourself and keep warm. As of this evening, Tarsha Lewis's Whitehaven home on Clarice Drive is still dark and cold. Last time we checked, it was like 40-something. Inside your house? Yes, and that's with the sun up. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Lot. Yeah, that's, a, that's it's cold. Still cold. We have blankets and we've just been huddled up in one room trying to keep the heat to ourselves. She says the power's still out at her son's home, too. I and mean, he have two small kids, so it's kind of hectic on him, too. MLGW officials say more than a thousand workers are addressing the problem, with roughly 80 crews from out of town assisting. We completely understand the frustration that uh, you're experiencing and know that uh, it is certainly um, a challenge to get things back to normal when you can't have the power that you're used to having. So we're working diligently uh, to get that restored. Working to get the power back on for all residents by the end of the week. Hopefully we can get ahead of that. This woman's power on Linwood Road was restored this afternoon, hours after she left a hotel she'd been staying at since Thursday and couldn't afford anymore. The expense of it, you know, was mounting. I'm really glad that it came back on. So you'll see us and hear us out in the community doing our best in really, really challenging conditions to get this done. Yeah, MOGW says all the fallen trees are making it difficult for crews to access and fix damaged power poles. But again, the hope is to have everyone back on by the end of the week. Live downtown, Andrew Ellison, WRG News, Channel 3. All right, we pray that happens. Andrew, thanks.